Welcome on people, I don't know if I'm checking my number there, so the first ever question and answer video where you guys ask the question and I am here to answer them. You see me? So without any further ado, we just gonna jump in and we just gonna answer all of the questions that we get in the previous video and all the questions that me me ask myself in that previous video. You see me? So without any further ado, we just gonna jump right in. Okay, so the first question: What are some of the good car brands out here where you look for for your first car? So personal me would recommend for your first time car owner would be Toyota. You see me Toyota, and why I say Toyota? Toyota are some of the strongest and reliable engines out there, brother. They build some of the best engine, brother. You see me have car around 1980, 1990 all long, brother. I drive up and down right now to the day. I drive up and down. You see me whenever I have to do no major nothing panel because at the end of the day, Toyota build some real strong and reliable car. You see me? Flatty and all of them care the way see I drive up and down right now. I really all care of them there no brother. You see me and them still a drive right now. You see? So me that recommend that for your first time car owner a Toyota. You see me? If you can't get a Toyota, I also would recommend a Honda. You see me? Because Honda builds some really good engines as well, you know. You see me? But yeah, any out of them to the me personal would recommend Toyota or Honda. You see me? So the next question, what is a good price range for buy a first vehicle? So okay, so straight up would I recommend like all uh, 250,000 to 350,000. Why would I recommend 250,000 or 350,000 would be because because I know to anything with under 150,000, them tend to have like uh, some problem. Yes, meaning say some of the time it go on spray the vehicle go want to respray when it get for a cheap price like 150 or less you see me to go want to respray or it go want front end parts or it go want interior deed or it will be a all year car or something so that is why i recommend somewhere between like all 250 and 350 because at the end of the day when time i check out the one them where i go for 250 and 350 most of the time the paint are in relatively good condition and the interior okay and the engine be looking relatively okay you see me? So that's why I'm mean, gonna recommend like all 250 to 350 car. In a them range, you tend to get something when you need no work. You just buy it and drive it. But you see me? But you can get vehicles for less doing you know? it. Don't get me wrong, there are vehicles for 150,000. But as what I said before, most of the time it's gonna want to spray or it going have some rust mark or it's gonna be a very old year vehicle. You see me? So that is why I'm mean, gonna recommend like 250 to 350. You see me? Okay, so the next question. How if you go about setting up a meeting for view any of the vehicle from the video them? For the first up what you have to do you know, brother, you have to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You see me? Because there's a reason behind that no? because if you hit the notification bell and the subscription you know, brother, you're gonna be notified as soon as I drop a video. You see me? Because in this game speed is crucial you see me you need to be fast you see me so if you're seriously interested in a vehicle brother you have to be some of the people who have to be the first to see it you see me so as i drop a video you need to see it and see what they night where you want where, where possibly interested you know just to make sure say yo you get the seat before it sell because the vehicle them tend to sell fast when they sell for a good price you know like really really fast for my time in the last three days so when they sell for a good price you need to be there first brother you see me and the only way you can do that is if you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and then as me drop a video you watch a video you see me and while you watch a video now you come to now boom if you see a vehicle where you're interested in the video you pause the video and you take out your phone and then you dial the number where you see me advertise for which specific vehicle you see me say if you see me sell a lafayette and you see me post the number right there you call the number same time you see me? and when you would normally say when i call a person about a vehicle let's say it's a nissan lafayette you don't call them and say man as a general i see you sell a nissan lafayette you see me it's still available and that question can only go two ways yes it's still available or no it's not available yeah if it's still available then you say where are located you see me and then that can go two ways as well either then a range where you can go view the vehicle when you're ready or it too far out of range maybe you're there at kingston they're in a country you see me and you don't want to go to this one you see me so let's say it in a range you see me you come to and say when we can come view it you see me and then and then them now i will give you a date or you must say anytime all right and then you if them say anytime then you say all right you pick a day when you know you have a free and you have a can kind of come view it you see me so let's say, say any time my boss, you see me, uh, then me know that I said tomorrow you're free, you see me, because again speed is crucial, my brother. if you take too long and you try to say your next week or it will not be there because the brother will not hold no vehicle for nobody brother, this game is a first come first serve kind of thing, you see me, so yeah, you're going to try to do it as soon as possible, at least view it just to know if you're interested, in you could have got view it and then I something you know, uh, you see me, but if you never view it, you would have never know if I something you would have been interested in, you see me, 
so you try to view it as soon as possible so you say so tomorrow okay and it's the man that's okay but what time and you just say like at 12 o'clock you see me and you say all right and you hang up the phone and you call your mechanic and you tell him say yo you want to view a vehicle tomorrow 12 o'clock you see me and yet you know they set it up with your mechanic but what i want to do is make a more in-depth video where i show the thing them live i'm actually call one of the people where i sell one of them vehicle here and set up a meet and then go view it you see me so if any of you guys are seriously interested in a vehicle like seriously you know you can follow me on instagram here you see me and then me will contact the person for you and set it up you see me while videoing it so that the other viewers them can see how it's done and then me and you go to go view the vehicle i will show them how we view our vehicle and then we show them even how to negotiate if you don't know how to negotiate you see me some year me that fully document doing the whole procedure just to show you guys so if any of you guys are truly serious having the money in life and don't want a vehicle and know i just help finding a vehicle and doing everything you can follow me on instagram there and i will help you guys while documenting it for the other viewers you see me but yeah we're gonna move on to the next question okay so first question thanks so much bro thought i would need at least a mill to own a good first vehicle but bought one okay so this one is not a question we're gonna move on to the next one and the next question yes bro enough love you've been helpful to us all i may say are there anything i can get for 150,000? okay so that go back to when we did that say earlier when time i say yo a good price change would be somewhere between like 250,000 to 350,000 you see me and me explain why because you can get vehicles for 150,000 you know don't get me wrong there are vehicles out there that is selling for 150,000 driving vehicles too as when i said before more than likely the vehicle i go want to respray or it i go want to touch up or it i go want front end path you see me so me would recommend to save even 100,000 more or even 50,000 more and try to get a little bit better quality vehicle but if you can't do that that, then you would have to just keep in mind so the way I get would have be something where well, would have probably want a little fixing up you see me but yeah you can get vehicles for 150,000 and if you really want for sure vehicles for 150,000 comment in the comment section and if you get 10 people will comment the same thing so they want to say 150,000 vehicle then I go show it you see me but we are going to move on to the next question respect general love all the vehicle info display and screen yeah thanks bro this take a whole heap of energy and effort brother for do all of this because all of our go and behind me you can see say yo it's a green screen you see me and to set up all of this and in front of me here we have a camera and we have a studio light and we have another studio light and we have the desktop right here it take a lot of energy to just make these videos brother it take a whole heap of time it take like up to three hours just for make one 20 minute video you see me when it comes down to editing and to find all of the vehicles to put in the video you see me it take time and effort and energy brother that's why i always ask you guys to subscribe to share the video because at the end of the day i not get nothing out of none of them videos yeah, brother i not get no money I fight none of the vehicle I sell and on my own so I make no money off of none of them things brother none of these things now nah, profit me in no way shape or form just for no say yo me I help people and the end of the day people actually appreciate what me I do brother that is thanks enough you see me so yeah brother I take whole heap of energy and effort so I'm glad you noticed I made that comment here brother because some people think it easy I actually I make money off of it but anyway let's I jump right back in but I'm fix this first okay so the next question would you recommend a 1jz or 2jz to convert in my isuzu trooper answer and the answer is that is a simple yes every time brother you see me the 1jz and the 2jz they are really really reliable engine brother and them really fun you see me like really fun they can spin the car it's powerful Mr. people take them engine and put them in a bus and highest and all of them things brother because of how strong and powerful them engines they be you see me like really strong and powerful engines right there. i mean no people who already did that exact conversion already you see me when them take out them van engine and put in a, a jz and them vehicle run perfectly power steering everything ac everything you see me so if you can get it done properly then me i recommend it yes 100 percent you see me the so next question what would you suggest for a student just finishing college and just started working what week would you suggest you see me all right so it depends you know you see me it depends on the person who want the week it depends on what 
are them purposes for the vehicle. You see me say it's a person who finished college but have a small family already. It would be a seven seater, you need a seven seater even if the whole of your family can fit in our normal seat and that's still recommend a seven seater for somebody who have kids and have woman a yard and so forth, you see me? But if it's just a normal young individual like uh, me for example and we just finished college and we just start work, we would recommend something like a, a, a Axio, you see me? Or a nice 2011 or 2012 theater, you see me? Something really clean, really really clean and reliable, you see me? So me go and use that and then go and work with the money and then like a two three years later and we'll get all the proper bima if we can manage to save some money all tight, you see me? But because that's what you said before, you know, you say yes, just start work, so me now assume say I have a whole heap of money, but me would I recommend something something like in that range. You could even go for one of them nicer Honda right there or something like that, but Again, I wanna go all out on all a nice hype vehicle straight off of the back if I just start work. I look for something just clean, like really clean and reliable. So I go for again a Toyota Axio or a Nissan T that clean even or maybe even a Latio. You see me something where I just can go about my business but no problem at all. You see me? Okay, so the next question what should I look for when buying a car like how a mechanic who would look at it? So basically, what you have to look for as if you are one mechanic and the thing is, is that it's tricky, you see me? I have to make a complete separate video when it comes down to that question because it's a very good question but it's super long and it's really in-depth because I have to go in-depth way and why you have to look for fee, to be able to do it like how a mechanic would do it, you see me? So I probably make a different video just showing that one day, you see me? But I have to make it a little bit brief of what I would do when I'm buying a vehicle, you see me? Okay, so the first thing we would do, I would try to be there early. You see me? So I would try to reach there before the person even start the care for the day. You see me? Because I would want the engine cold, like cold, like ice cold. You see me? start from morning. You see me? So I would try to be there early. I would try to tell the person to not start the vehicle until I get there. You see me? Then, as I reach there, I would pull the radiator cap and then I would go into the car and then I would start it. You see me? I would listen keenly. Keenly, keenly, keenly. Cause some of the main things that me look for personally when I look for a vehicle is some of the serious problems that I don't want. You see me? It's like problems like leak bearings, you see me? Or head gasket failure, you see me? Or internal failure, or, or parts failure like our alternator, or power steering, or, or, or water pump. You see me? Those are the things that I try to look for. So because I look for major failures on the engine, I look for just mainly the engine because at the end of the day, the car can spray really easily. Like a whole car can spray for like 50,000 or less. You see me? And a pan up on a car can spray for cheaper. So that's why I really look for the body of the vehicle. If it's in a good condition, that's good. But the main thing I look for the vehicle, if I'm interested in the vehicle, is the engine. I'm going to check it like, as I said before, I pull the radiator cap, go in and start the car, I listen. You see, when I listen for a Conrad, because sometimes the Conrad bearings them leak on a vehicle, and any time that leak, whether that's a big serious work. You see me? But pull down the whole engine and then replace the Conrad, Conrad and then send your crankshaft to machine shaft for polish and be a sitting brother that, that is not worth it, bro. You see me? It's not worth the problem for fix the Conrad. Most of the time, people tend to end up just changing engine just for that. I'm mean, not going to buy a car and I forgot to buy a strip engine for putting it. No. You see me? So I'm going to listen out for that. You see me, if I don't hear no, can, no signs of the Conrad, then I move come around at the front when I check for head gas it because that is another problem I don't want to fix. You see me? As I said before, I left the radiator cap open. You see me? And while in the car, I rev it two times to see if I hear no Conrad. And if I don't hear no Conrad and it sounds like it's okay, I'll go around at the front. And when I go around at the front, I check to see if I see one bag of bubbles I come up out of the radiator. You see, because I say one bag of bubbles that would mean say yo that would mean say yo it's a head gasket failure where the exhaust gets are going on the radiator and that'll be a big problem for fix. You see me say we just walk away if we see that I go on. But you have some vehicles where no matter why not some little bit of bubbles that come up and say if you be able we can tell the difference between a head gasket leak or if I just saw the engine a blow up bubbles. You see me say but me that check that and then now me that pull out the dipstick and check the oil cap cover to see if missing up no watery or milky substance because if you see any watery or milky thing on the, on the engine cock or on the dipstick that means that you will leak head gasket and oil and water mist and them that is a serious problem we don't really want to fix so if you see a milky substance on like all the dipstick or the, or the oil cap you know say yo 
you know say yo that's a problem right there but them that are two main things that I look out for when time you go view a vehicle as I said before my problem I can need a video going more in depth in all how I look for but them that are some of the two major things that I look for when I check out a car but yeah we're gonna move on to the next question okay so the next question best cars for 600k this next question is interesting because again this all depends on the person who want the car where they want out of the car they want a fast car they want something sporty so they look pretty they want a reliable car where they want you see me but when it comes down to reliable ability me to go for again something a little bit sportish something a little bit look good something like a, again a Toyota Axio or a Nissan Tida maybe a Latio you see me if I want something a little bit more sportish you see me to go for like all one of them under ya or one of them ya or this or this you see me because some of them they can take set you see me they can take set brother you see me and me to make like a sporty to make it look more appealing and so forth just because a sport me I look for you see me but yeah, again it depends on the person who are buying the vehicle and what them and what them plan to use the vehicle for. Yeah, so hopefully me answer you guys question to your liking is it leave a like and a comment in the comment section when you think about my answers and if you agree or disagree, comment it in the comment section. 